This might take a few moments. Hello, my fellow liquid cooling enthusiasts. My name is Matiz, and today I will be showing you everything you need to know about the EK Leak Tester Flex, including how to use it. Now, this is a more versatile version of our leak tester that is equipped with a flexible tube, which will make the testing more user friendly. Don't forget that you can contact the EK support team if you have any additional questions or need some help. Start by checking the contents of the box and the product condition. Find the instruction manual and compare the content. Now what even is a leak tester? The EK Leak Tester Flex is a fast and safe way of testing for possible leaks in your liquid cooling loop. But how can leaks occur? Ooh, 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 ooh. Well, usually it's just a forgotten plug or fitting that's not correctly tightened. This is more common with soft tubing since they can easily end up unscrewing the fitting at the base when they are pushed around. Less frequent occurrences are material failure or other mishaps that can happen with a brand new product. Leak testing is also very important when doing maintenance or water cleaning when the O-ring is removed. It could happen that you forgot to return it or it was improperly seated. But with this simple tool, we can pressurize the loop or an individual component and test it for leaks by using only air. Then if there's a leak, there's no chance of coolant spilling on expensive components. Testing also takes less than 15 minutes instead of the recommended 24-hour liquid test that was done in the past. Now let's quickly introduce the components on the leak tester flex. A pump to pressurize the loop with air. I want to pump my bicycle. A manometer. The gauge that shows how much pressure we have in units of bar. Manometer. Does it measure my manliness? Is it gonna know that I cried during Titanic? The body of the leak tester has a tube and a fitting at the end to attach it to the loop or a single component. So what's new? Let's get into detail. The all-new EK Leak Tester Flex has been improved over the previous leak tester for easier usage. Obviously, the flexible tube has been added so you can easily get into tight spaces and connect the leak tester to parts that you couldn't previously reach. At both ends, we have the same rotatable connector. One end goes into this custom-made G1 quarter adapter that fits all of our products. At the other end, we can see the main body of the testing tool where we connect the pump tube. In here, we have an integrated one-way valve, which eliminated the chunky ball valve. For demonstration purposes, we're gonna leak test this radian vector block. As you can see, the pressure is still holding, even when we remove the pump altogether, thanks to the integrated one-way valve. For added safety, we also added a protective filter inside the valve so it always stays clean. The stylish and compact pump is on this side and is rotatable if needed. Just unscrew this fitting and then rotate the pump into the desired position and then tighten it. We also have a new print inlay for the pressure gauge. Keep in mind that every notch on the scale is 0.02 bar. When doing a leak test, always check the charging pressure table in the installation manual so you know at which pressure you need to test. Now let me show you how to correctly use the EK Leak Tester Flex. Step 1. Check that the tested system is sealed everywhere except for one free G1 quarter port. Install the tube adapter to this G1 quarter port by hand. You don't need to use any tools. Step 2. Oh yeah! Assemble the rest of the leak tester from the box and attach the leak tester's flexible tube to the G1 quarter tube connector. Pump the air via a mini pump to set the pressure using the pressure gauge on the unit. Follow the table in the user manual for the exact charging pressure. This might take a few moments, because it's a full loop. When you pressurize the loop with air, wait a few moments for the pressure to stabilize. Read and memorize the pressure on the pressure gauge, or write it down if your memory isn't the best, like mine. Then wait for 5 to a max of 15 minutes to check for a drop in the pressure gauge's needle. If there's no pressure drop, your liquid cooling loop is watertight and leak-free. Also keep in mind that air leaks more easily than coolant, so leaving the loop pressurized with air for longer periods will not give an accurate test results. Due to the nature of air and temperature changes in the loop, you might see the gauge needle move even though you have no leaks. When testing systems with a smaller volume, the pressure on the manometer can fluctuate by 0.02 bar, which does not mean that the system is leaking, 
That just means it can drop for one mark on the scale. What if there's a pressure drop? First step. If the leak tester shows that the tested system or component is leaking, first check that all of the fittings in the loop are firmly attached. Verify that the components in the leak tester itself are not loosened. Check that the flexible tube's fittings on both sides are tightened and that the pressure gauge and the G1 quarter tube connector with the O-ring and the pump connector are tightly attached. Also check the leak tester itself, just to make sure there are no false readings. Second step. In rare cases, debris can accumulate in the plastic check valve, which causes it to lose pressure. You can check this by unscrewing the pump connector with an Allen key and removing the check valve altogether with the filter foam. Gently push them out out of the pump connector using the same Allen key. If you notice any debris in the check valve, remove or blow them away and reassemble the leak tester. Remember to install the filter foam back into the pump connector as well. If there's still a leak, we recommend testing each unit separately to identify the faulty unit. If there's still a leak, we encourage you to contact our friendly EK customer support for future guidance. For more content like this, make sure you comment, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you need any help or have any questions, our customer support is always ready to lend you a hand. Stay cool!